Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Elisa and today I wanted to share with you 10 free knitting patterns that I found that are such great quality. I honestly was shocked that some of these were free. They're such a wonderful, beautiful garment to create for yourself and I felt the need to share them with you. So with that being said, let's just jump right in. I'll also leave a link for all of the patterns that I found in the description and I kid you not, I spent so many hours going through all of these. So these are definitely the best of the best that I found and I'm really excited to share them. So the first one that I found was the Easy Going Knit Pullover by Bernat and this is just such a staple sweater to have. It's made with chunky weight wool and I'm super, super excited to create this one. It's got a really cool, interesting knitted or uh, twisted ribbing on the cuff and I'm really excited to try that. I've never done that, I've just done simple ribbing. Um, I've never tried twisted ribbing, so I'm really excited to do that. And I just think it's a perfect cozy, snuggle up kind of sweater for the winter and I'm definitely going to make that once it comes winter time. So the second one that I found is another staple sweater for any type of cold weather and it's the Lumpy Sweater by Novita and this is using their Hugo wool. And I'm super excited about this one because it's just a beautiful, simple, super easy beginner sweater. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love how it's a bulky weight, so it's again nice and cozy and perfect for relaxing and that type of winter-esque theme or vibe that I have going on at that time of the year. So I'm super excited about this one. Again, those first two patterns are easy, beginner friendly, and they're free, so definitely have to give them a try. Then the third pattern that I found is a little bit more advanced on knitting skills. I personally have never done anything like this, so it's definitely testing my capabilities and my skill. And it is the Autumn Sweater, and this one is by Nazilia, I'm going to try and pronounce her last name, Zemdikanova. I probably did not say that right but I'll leave a link again. And it is just a beautiful colorwork sweater and I'm super excited to try colorwork this year. I haven't done anything yet other than maybe switch out, you know, cut the yarn and switch out to a new different color, but I really wanna try doing colorwork. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. And again, the fact that somebody can go and create such a beautiful design and create a beautiful garment and pattern for us and give it to us for free when it's such intricate and detailed you know, necessities to make this garment. The fact that they did that for us, I'm super, super grateful for, and I think it's a great resource to use, so feel free to check this one out. And again, it's just gorgeous with the fall colors and everything going on at that time. I think it'll be a perfect staple to have in my closet. So the third pattern that I found is a type of sweater, but it's actually a sweater dress. And I'm really excited about this one. And it is the Women's Knitted Dress by Novita. And this one has another type of colorwork at the top, but it also adds those really beautiful, cute little detailed tassels at the end. And I think that's super unique. I've never seen something like that. So I'm really, really drawn to this one specifically. And it's just perfectly warm and cozy. And for that type of cold weather that we'll be getting, I'm very excited to knit this one up. I don't really have any, I don't have any dresses actually, but I really do like the idea of having a sweater dress. It's super cozy and it seems fairly comfortable. So I'm very excited about this one. And the fifth sweater slash knitted pattern that I have isn't actually a sweater. It is a cardigan, and this is just a really fun cardigan. I've seen it around by a few other creators and different people that are in the knitting community, and I definitely have to jump on board with this one. And it is the Bubble Stitch Cardigan by Paintbox, and it is just the most fun, super out there, like in your face kind of cardigan, and I'm super excited for it. I have a specific thing in mind for this cardigan especially, and I want to use a garnet and gold color for it, and it's kind of funny, but um, I'm a huge FSU fan, so go Knowles, and I think it would be really cool to have. And I also just love how fun and creative and really cool this cardigan is. So I'm very excited. It's using a super chunky weight, so it'll be nice. I have, well, I'm currently knitting up a lighter weight, like I think a three or four in a cardigan. So I'm really excited to use a super chunky. And I think it's just the perfect type of garment to incorporate the school that I love so much. So that was the fifth pattern. For the sixth pattern, it is incorporating some more color work, but in a much simpler way. And it is the Cute Hearts Socks by Barbara Naluko. 
I probably mispronounced her last name as well. But this one is super cute. I think it is perfect, especially around the Valentine's season and just a really cute, nice little dainty sock in general. I kind of wish I knitted it up earlier. Now that Valentine's has kind of gone, I've lost ever so slight interest for it. It might go towards the end of the year, but I still think it's such a cute, simple sock. I also love knitting socks. Well, I haven't quite knitted a sock, but I love socks, so I'm very excited to knit a sock. And I think this one is just the perfect, simple, but also very cute and minimal details. So I think, I think it will be a great staple to have. It's also using stockinette stitch, so again, super beginner friendly. I think this one's definitely worth giving a try. And for my seventh pattern that I found, this is the Pern Pullover by Barocco. And I think this is just a perfect summery spring, maybe even fall kind of um, garment. It's just got a super simple detailing on the very front with like garter on the top. I also love the length of the sleeves. I think it's a great summer staple. Again, springtime, it seems really nice and lightweight. And I just think the ribbing on the sleeves also are really, really cool. So I'm very excited to knit this one. I don't have very many summer knits, so I think this would be a great one to add. For my eighth pattern, this one I'm actually pretty excited to knit. I don't have a ton of crop tops, and I don't know if I would make this one necessarily a crop top. I might lengthen it, but I thought it was really cute and dainty. And it's My Little Secret Crop by Jen Kincaid. Hi there, voiceover here, and I just wanted to say that this pattern is actually by Jesse Made Designs. The link that I found said that it was by Jen Kincaid and that it was a free pattern. That's not the case, actually. It's a $6 pattern, so it's still relatively nice in price, and it's by Jesse Made Designs. I'll have the link for her pattern on Ravelry in the description below. Anyway, back to the video. And it's just the perfect summer top to have to go anywhere. I think it's absolutely adorable. I love how it crosses in the back. I think that's super cute. And again, it's nice and simple as it has the ribbing pretty much throughout the whole garment. And I think it's really, really cute. And I would love to knit this one up for the summer. Again, it's hard to find those patterns for summer clothing since most of our knits are definitely based on winter and fall and those colder weather seasons. So I'm very excited to have some summer knitted things and spring knitted things. So I'm very excited about this. And for my ninth pattern, I have the Cable Detail Cutaway Top by Debbie Bliss. I love how simple this is, but also very detailed and delicate and very dainty. I love how the cables come down the side, how it's kind of like a mixed halter top with a little turtleneck. I think it's really cute actually, and I think it'd be perfect for spring, especially with the light blue pastel that they used in the actual pattern. I don't know if I would use that color necessarily, but I think it would look good with any of those beautiful spring colors. So I'm very excited about this one. It's really nice and simple again, with simple stockinette stitch going throughout the whole thing, so fairly beginner friendly. I guess the cables would be a little bit more intricate. I probably would say beginner to intermediate, but I'm very excited to knit up some cables and I think this will just be another great summer free pattern to have and use and then be able to wear. So that is the ninth pattern. And then for the final pattern in the 10th, it is the Cool Crop Top by Paintbox. And I am so excited for this one. I think it is just the most gorgeous top, summer top to have. I love how simple it is in the, in the front with everything being covered and the sleeves are very nice and simple. It's pretty much all stockinette, but then it has the cross of the back and that is just so unique and cool to me. So I'm very excited to knit this one up. It's got the open back and it's kind of like a reverse scoop how it kind of bends down in the back but I'm really excited to knit this one up. Again I think this might be my favorite knitting pattern of the whole thing. I have no idea. I think it's absolutely gorgeous so I'm very excited for this one and it's really great to have those lightweight summer tops again and I think Paintbox did a great job on creating this so I'm very very excited to knit that. So with that being said, there are my 10 patterns that I have for you, but because you are so wonderful to me and you watched my whole video, I decided to leave three extra patterns that I think you'll enjoy. And the first one is going to be the Woven 
woven wonder cushion and this is also by paintbox i think it's just a beautiful beautiful cover over a pillow and i think it's just gorgeous to have in your home as a staple decor and just as a functional pillow and it's just got a very beautiful basket weave i love the colors that they use but you could really use any colors to fit the home that you have and the theme that you have going on in your decor but i think it's absolutely a beautiful pattern and it's free again like you can find a pillow like this this much detail this much effort for a free pattern like that's insane to me so i'm very excited about this one and then the next two that i have are very festive and they're these tiny little cute squashes the squishy squishy squashes by holly woodward designs and this is absolutely adorable i love how she puts a little cinnamon stick to tie around with the twine and i think it's absolutely adorable i think it's perfect for fall and all fall festivities and everything around that season i love that season so i'm very drawn to this pattern and i can't wait to make some for myself and the final one are the pumpkin pattern by evash and it again has the little cinnamon on the top just a very simple pumpkin colored yarn or white yarn or whatever type of colored pumpkin you would want and i think it's absolutely adorable so i figured i'd leave those with you thank you again so much for watching please like and subscribe if you would like to see more knitting videos as well as free patterns that i find and i'm very excited to see what i will do this year so thank you so much for watching i hope you have a great day bye